What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Fortnite uh, video, Save the World. Obviously, I think Save the World is the only thing I do. So when I say Fortnite, I mean Save the World. Um, but the new zones are out. I thought that it would be tomorrow. Today's the 23rd, but this, this video is going to come out. Uh, it'll come out not tomorrow, but the day after. Sorry. Uh, what was it? I lost my train of thought. A freaking... I don't know, man. I'm sick right now, so it sucks. Um, but I thought the new Venture Zone is out. Show you guys a little bit of the Venture Zone. I'm not going to go in it yet. Um, so with this area, I'll explain. Mission info. So soldiers. Headshots get two times bonus. Ranged weapon eliminations reduce active cooldowns by four seconds. Which is really good. If a frag grenade is equipped, equipped, every sixth range weapon grants a grenade, which is cool for you know grenade builds. Um, super constructor building costs are reduced by sixty six percent. Melee impact damage is increased, and trigger kinetic overload reduces active cooldowns by four seconds. So that's pretty cool. Um, basically, using a melee as a constructor um, can activate kinetic overload, which it does already. Um, but you get a cooldown reduction every time you activate that, so it's pretty cool. Uh, ninjas, melee attack damage is increased. Well, ability elimination. So killing an enemy with a ninja ability increases your melee damage and your attack speed for 10 seconds. Uh, melee weapons eliminations. Oh, melee weapon eliminations reduce active cooldowns by 2 seconds, so that's kind of cool. Shadow stance benefits are doubled. Reduce range, ranged weapon and shadow damage. That's the usually the case for um, everything that isn't a soldier. Because soldiers are, are usually um, ranged weapon based. So with this one, having a soldier means you're going to do less melee damage, less trap damage. Having a constructor means you're going to have less weapon damage. A ninja is the same. Ranged, uh, reduced ranged and trap damage. And an Outlander has the same reduced weapon and trap damage. Um, Anti-material charges are free in this area. So if you were to run... I have a character for this. Let me see. I'm using Metalton Leader because it's going to be easier for me to do um, the encampment mission I was on. Or I was on it before, but uh, the encampment mission I'm on, even though you know it's Adept Soldiers, you can see the little soldier hat. The blue soldier hat. Um, I'm going to be using an infinite, or I'm not sure if it's infinite yet, I'll test it, but uh, to my knowledge, it'll be an infinite uh, teddy bear. Um, which is not necessarily good, but for early game ventures and stuff like that, it's, it's pretty good. Um, but this is the character I was talking about. If you're using Casey Clip Lipman, which is a character you see when you go into your armory, um, her ability is basically double drops. And I explained the double drop thing in a previous video, but I'll explain it again real fast. If you were to hit a rock, you wouldn't get double of the build material. It's double of the drop or ingredients, just that crafting material. Um, so you could either get double, say, um, rough ore or double of any of the powders, not blast powder, but... Um, like fine grain mineral powder or simple, is it simple powder? I don't know. Let me see. I'm forgetting. I don't use those resources very often, so it's not like I... These powders. So the fine grain mineral powder, the simple mineral powder, the rough mineral powder, char black and oxidized. You would get double of um, either the powders or the rough ore. And... But that usually means, I think it's dependent on rock size as well. So if you would hit small rock, you know, your chance is probably higher to get rough ore. In which case, you would get double rough ore. So um, it's a good build to have, especially in this venture zone. Not especially in this venture zone, but especially for ventures is what I was trying to say. Um, I got to switch back to this character. Okay, uh, we're not doing ventures today. I'm going to explain some things that I haven't explained yet. I know I went over heroes, hero builds, that sort of thing. Today we're going to be going over 
the weapon side, meaning the weapon perks, how to evolve your weapons, how to level up your perks or increase their rarity depending on whatever, you know what I mean? Um, we'll start with a shotgun, I guess. We'll check out the shotgun. So, if you'll notice your perks, if you are trying to upgrade your weapon, I'll pull out a controller so you can see. Trying to upgrade your weapon, you push A on it, or X, and then you push Upgrade and Inspect, and that'll put you into this view. And at the bottom right, you can see it says Upgrade, or Back, or View, or Favorite, or Unfavorite. Um, on PlayStation, it's Square to upgrade. On uh, Xbox, it's X. But it'll give you a drop down, and it'll say, this is not the best one to do this for, but let me see. Um... So you have this, you have a promote, a modify, or an upgrade. Uh, sorry, it's kind of bugged. Let's see, let's look for a weapon that isn't leveled. Like my dragon's roar. You'll have these three options. So you can evolve it, meaning you're gonna get it to, you know, to, to from silver or from, co or from copper to silver, from silver to Malachi, and from Malachi, it goes to either Obsidian or Shadow Shard. I'll show you. I might as well just upgrade this one to show you. So you level it up like usual. And this is where you upgrade. See, I'm already I'm already in silver. Upgrading again to 30. It's gonna get me to Malachite. And if you upgrade again, after I, I level it, but you upgrade again, you have the option between uh, Shadow Shard or Obsidian. Shadow Shard. Sorry, Obsidian. <laughs> Obsidian giving you more impact. More headshot and more damage. That's more than your Malachi variant, right? So if you notice when I go to Shadow Shard, see the differences? It's a couple hundred, couple, couple. Well, for the headshot damage, it's like a couple, a thousand or so. Um, but for the damage in general, it's a couple hundred. Um, but this is where you want to choose between between which one is better. Now, usually I go with Shadow Shard. Um, yes, it has a decreased fire rate, and yes, it has decreased durability. It does have more impact. It does have more general damage and more general headshot damage, uh, which is what I go for. And now, whichever, I guess, play style you want, you want your weapons to have more durability. You know, the durability is unchanged, basically. If you want your him to have, you know, an unchanged fire rate, you know, instead of a reduced fire rate, then that is fine with, you know, as well. But it also switches the crafting material type. So you can see there's obsidian, there's a power cell that is, uh, it's not efficient, sleek, sleek mechanical parts. And then there's 15 blast powder. If you were to go to the other one, it's shower shard, sleek. And then it's a uh, quartz crystal, so it changes it a little bit. Now, for your perks, after you, uh, you know, after you've leveled it up, it's weird to. It's kind of bugged on uh, right now. So like when I go into this, I can't close it. Oh, I can. Well, now I can't. <laughs> but but um, if you've leveled it up as much as you can, oh, I backed all the way out. Didn't mean to. But if you level it uh, as much as you can, say you level it to 77, then, um, you know, that's as high as you can get if, if you can, right? Say, let's say that that is the highest you can go currently. Um, you would go then go to perks, and it gives you a perk selection. Now, depending on what you want your gun to do, obviously you can't change it from fire, but depending on what you want your gun to do, You'll modify your perks as so. So you you push A or X, and it'll give you the option to either upgrade it or to select different perks for that weapon. You could upgrade it and then select different perks, because you could change your perks at any time so long as you have the material to do so. And the material to do so is reperk, and the material to upgrade it is perk up. So the different variants of perk up. Like, as you can see, upgrading the common to green. I need a uh, uncommon perk up, I think it is. 
and then I, from that one to that one, I need rare perk up, which is a blue one. And then from blue or rare, I need epic perk up. And then from uh, the purple one, epic, to legendary, I need legendary perk up. And the legendary one is like 300 and something. Uh, do I have anything with purple on it so I can show you? I can just upgrade it to purple. It's kind of weird. Uh, I had to back out just because I uh, don't know why, but it gets kind of stuck sometimes. So sometimes you may have to back out yourself. But um, see, 345 for one upgrade. The other number, the number on the left is how much I have. The number on the right is how much you need. Um, but that is the perk system now. Some weapons are better with some perks. Like this one came standard with this one. It's got a short reload time or a relatively short reload time. So you may not need a reload perk. I know there are reload perks like right there. There's a reload perk. Uh, reload perk. <laughs> I went to magazine size. There's a reload perk. Um, sometimes there are double of a certain perk, like with swords. With swords, there will be doubles of perks. Um, like this one, for instance, it's got life leech, life leech, but you could also have attack speed, attack speed, attack speed, and that's it. So you could have, you could have triple attack speed and say life leech or triple attack speed, heavy attack, but some of them come with, um, doubles or triples of a same perk. So that is your, that is your, uh, sort of like your perks. Where's the dragon's roar? Okay, I'm gonna recycle it because I don't want this, I don't want that stuff on it. Uh, I can get it back whenever. So your collection book as well. If you have legendary flux, then you can pull stuff out of the collection book. Uh, not everything, keep in mind. Anything from, you know, these these four you can pull with Legendary Flux. Except for these, um, actually you can with these ones as well. Or the campaign ones. So these two, these bottom two are uh, quest heroes. Can you pull them? Okay, so you can. And these ones, um, can you? Okay. You... Right, these two you can't. Uh, this guy, the Buckshot Raptor, you get from the collection book. So you can put him in the collection book if you want. Um, this guy, you gain him in the defense. This guy, you gain in the defense. So you can see the requirements right there. Earned by completing hero quests, unlocked after Kang Defense 2. Earned by reaching collection book 100. And earned by completing hero quests after Kang Defense 2. So there you go. Those are quest heroes. You could get them with a voucher. But um, you could also just play a campaign. It's a lot easier. Uh... This character as well, found inside the Llama Shop. So you can get it for 250 Legendary Flux and 7,500 training manuals. But like I said, not all the heroes you can get. This guy, you, I'm pretty sure you could, yeah. These are campaign constructors. So they're earned through the campaign or with, um, or with the, the Flux, right? More campaign outlanders. This character is like leveled up. But, uh, okay, so, and basically you're just going to want to check what you can get. I think you can get uh, all these characters too. All these characters you can get with Legendary Flux. I pulled this character out because I have uh, a trap thing I want to do with that character, so. I just need more survivors, basically. Uh, these ones you can't, can you? No, you can't, okay. The Mythic Leads you can't, but everything else in this tab you can uh, the ranged weapons, I'm pretty sure you can pull almost all of them with Legendary Flux. I think the only one you can't pull is in the SMG's typewriter. Yeah. You can unslot it, too. Some of them are free. Watch. See? <laughs> Some of them are free. Some of them are free. Uh, typewriter is not free, though. But, uh, everything else you should be able to pull out with Flux. Uh, same with the traps. You could pull it out with Legendary Flux. Okay, now what's next? Um, that's a new weapon. We're going to have to go over this weapon. That is really cool. Really, really, really cool. Uh, wow. 
It's actually really cool. I might buy another hero loadout, by the way. Just to have 11. <laughs> I wonder how many I can get, right? It might go to 20, which would be really cool. Uh, should I buy it right now, though? This one's got double reaper today. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today's Thursday. Oh, I thought I could buy more than one. I seen the left trigger, right trigger. Okay, that's cool. Armory slots as well. So, uh, I think I explained it as well in a previous video. But, um, your armory slots, if you look up at schematics right here, there is a, for me, it's 209 out of 730. That 209 is the amount that you currently have, and that one to the right is how much um, how much you have total, I guess you could say. But it's, um, one is, you're using 209 of 730. So I have a space of 730, and I'm only using 209 of that. Medium, very cool. Looking sword. It's a water weapon. It's got double heavy attack and stun to frozen. Critical hits snare the target and nearby enemies for 30 seconds. Can only occur every 5 seconds. Let's level this thing up. Oh. Just got the perks on this thing. Heavy attack, armor, life leech. Every eighth hit causes a freeze around the character. Okay, I'm gonna do that right away. <laughs> Cause that's not limit to uh, the other ones. Like the other ones have can occur only four seconds or every five seconds. And one is uh, snares by 30% for six seconds. Um, it's water, we can't change that. So I'm gonna max that out. Uh, now what I think. Okay, I might not change this one, who knows. Um, let's see. Might do, is there an attack speed? There is an attack speed. Let's do an attack speed. Let's do... Hmm. You know what? Attack is already kind of low, so maybe we do. This is upgrade, honestly. Every eighth hit, so I kind of want an attack speed. I kind of want a damage. I don't want a movement speed. Uh. Crit hit is 20 already, which is kind of telling me that it might be a crit weapon. Okay, so this is how it's going to be. I'll test it out in a later video, but this is how the sword is going to be for now. I'll probably use it uh, later as well, uh, just to see. Which means there's probably new weapons going to come out, which is really nice. Uh, aside from that one, right? More, uh, more ice themed weapon, which is really cool. Uh, another thing I wanted to explain. I did explain it previously, that one. Uh, I'm not even sure what to do anymore. I forgot. I totally forgot. Um, I want to reiterate that, uh, these llama shop x ray llamas are probably one of the best ways to gain uh, heroes and survivors so if you guys don't know you guys know again uh, I'm gonna buy this I always buy that just in case I need to pull weapons out or research a weapon and all that sort of stuff um, if you need a weapon and you don't really mind like this one's not a very good weapon so I don't recommend getting it um, the monsoon is what I mean or the pulverizer those two are not uh, very good weapon. Zenith is a really good character to get. Obviously, I'll urge you to get tokens as well for your armory. Uh, Stormer Squire is a decent shotgun. It's a, um, 
it's a one round weapon so you shoot it reload shoot it reload um the long arm enforcer is probably better for newer players um specialist hawk is a good character war cry for, but that's part of the war cry build um so if you if you want that build you know you could have it that's one of the characters for it um they don't need to be legendary they could be purple okay um frost knight as well frost knight i mean if you play frost knight you know how this goes um they don't currently have all the zones out though it should be i think two other areas this is one area but this is different this is ventures which i'm pretty excited for because i don't think i've ever played adventures in a in this area before this looks like a new area um at least to me it's a new area which i'm pretty excited for um so yeah uh if you guys have questions about schematic leveling and that sort of thing or questions about your hero builds stuff like that you can always uh i guess hit me up on on the discord send me a friend request uh, i'll probably accept it because i'm not doing anything really you know just accept it and let me know what's up all that good stuff um my last video the 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 minecraft video didn't have the discord in there which i'm probably gonna edit to have it in there um but i mean in the description rather not like in the actual video um what else did i want to explain ventures i did want to kind of explain ventures um and that is you can get some good stuff in ventures being uh hero recruitment vouchers which can get you almost any hero well, I'll say basically any hero, right? I'll say it like that. You can get basically any hero with a hero recruitment voucher, and you can get basically any weapon with the weapon voucher. You also get, um, you also get llamas, which could help you get better stuff, legendary items, that sort of thing. Um, there's also evolution material. That's what I wanted to to uh, clue you guys in on. So, if you don't know, these three, actually the fourth one too, the one down here. Um, so this one. And these three up here are evolution material. And what that means is, say you want to level up a weapon or level up a hero. Let's go to heroes. I don't think I have heroes to level up. Oh, yeah, I do. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I just remembered. Do I have Swamp Knight already? No, I don't. Okay, so, so with Swamp Knight, uh, he's a character that will do more damage to miss monsters. Um, but that's at the cost of your own health so you can be low health and do more damage to miss monsters um no bosses so not including bosses and um so if you want to level up your hero obviously you level them up as usual you level them up you know once twice a couple times right me i, I level i can level up 10 times each time so you level them up and when you go to evolve him it'll cost you Pure drops of rain, which is the evolution material, right? If you keep evolving him, so level him up again, you evolve him once more, it takes you lightning in a bottle, or it costs lightning in a bottle, and drops of rain. There's two more evolution materials that uh, that you need to level. So you keep leveling him, right? He's level 20 or 30, you're gonna level him up again, you're gonna evolve him again, and that evolving now will cost Eye of the Storm, lightning in a bottle, so. The evolution material you need to evolve characters increases, and the you know number of um, evolution materials I guess since this, you know since the first time it was drops of rain, then lightning, then eye, then storm. So you can see how um, how to cost more and more each time. But uh, evolution material is something you need. So if you could also stack up on evolution materials sold down here in the item shop or llama shop items under weekly items, there are storm shard, lightning in the bottle, either storm, pure drops of rain, those things you need for um, leveling, you know, your survivors, your heroes, your weapons. So um, it's, in your it's in your best interest to try and buy those earlier. Um, 
You don't have to buy those if you don't want to, honestly. But, um... I was going to say, his Venture Zone will also give you evolution material. But, um... It won't give you... It'll probably give you more, more often. But there are also missions that give that. Um... Like, for me, I'll use my mouse since it's easier. Uh, but for me, see, I got a five times Storm Shard. I got a five times Drop Serene. A five, ooh, that's the one's a four times Legendary and an Epic Perk, which is kind of good. A five times Lightning in a Bottle. All we need is Storm Shard, really. Not Storm Shard, uh, Lightning in a Bottle. Which we have. Which means all we need is Eye of the Storm. Which that one gives. So these two both give a little bit of Eye of the Storm. It's not necessarily worth it to do those just for the Eye of the Storm. But it is worth to do them for Lightning the Bottle Storm Shard. Some good weapons. See like the Copper Enforcer which is in the shop right now. I'm on the second to last mission you can see on the top right. Last ditch effort. I have one more mission. I have one more mission and then... One more quest, and that quest has three more missions, and I am finished with um, the Twine storyline. Uh, kind of been neglecting it, uh, and that's somewhat intentional, somewhat non-intentional, because I've been helping people around, that sort of thing, so um, I don't end up doing it. But sometimes people will ask me for help with XPs and stuff, which is how I usually end up getting these things done. Um, someone will ask for XP or reperk or whatever or evolution material and I'll help them out with that but but I think I think that it's gonna have to be it oh the quest as well so what I forgot to tell you before we end the video is uh, endurance challenges if you haven't done or don't see any endurance challenges these are another way to get evolution material also a little perk up. Um, they're only available when you've completed a uh, a home base to ten. So say your your plankton or your stonewood, you have them maxed out ten. You've unlocked the endurance for either one of them. Today my daily is plankton. I did. I think I did like thirteen or fourteen, and then I left it. But that's just because I was uh, AFK farming materials. Um, there's also Venture Quests, if you guys haven't seen any of these in the last Ventures or anything like that. It's another way to get double Venture XP for any mission, basically. Holly Jolly Ransom. I don't really like that event, but, uh, it'll give you a hero. It'll give you a weapon, I think. So, and then there's also the Frost Knight challenges that you could do during the Frost Knight event. Uh, you will get, uh, you know, music. You will get the Ice King, which is what I really recommend you do, is you play, you know, with the team, if you have a team, or if not, you can play solo, and you can solo queue. Um, for Frost Knight, you guys need to try to hit that 30-minute mark so you guys can get Ice King. Ice King is, he's a really good character, right? Um, so with Ice King equipped, he's a constructor. If you put your base down, any structures affected by that base, when an enemy hits the base that is affected by the constructor uh, ability base... Um, the enemies will freeze. I'm kind of like struggling with how to explain it. But uh, the enemies will freeze if they attack your base. So long as you have the base down. Right. Um, Snowflake tickets are pretty cool. That weapon is alright. Uh, you get a... 45 minutes and you get a loading screen. Now, after the Frost Knight ones, there are the Elite Missions. Which can give you... This Frost Knight event banner. This one is 20 waves of 128. Okay. I think previously it used to be a 140. Oh, did they change it? It's a 128. Okay. Whatever. A 128. So the enemies, if it's the same as last year or the year prior, um, the enemies will get up to the enemies will get up to level 300. Um, and you may even not have access to a 128. Uh, but it's a pretty hard one to do. This one you can do in any zone. So you don't got to worry. You can do this one in any zone. Get that Krampus banner. I have this banner on. Why is my 
My banner is different than what it says to be. And I can't change it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but, um, this is a banner you can get. This is a banner you can get. This is a banner you can get. Uh, this one, obviously, this one. This is a dungeon banner, so the last, um, the last event where you, you'd be able to get that one from the last event. You can't anymore, but, um, can't get the Krampus banner. There are daily Frost Knight ones, so you get Battle Pass XP for doing 30 minutes with an Outlander changes. Or, it might be a repeating one, actually. I think the daily changes, the, so what character you have to use and that sort of thing. Uh, 100 structures is pretty easy. 13k battle passes, it's easy. These are repeatable quests, side quests, challenges. I'm pretty close to the builder one. Um, the main stuff. Okay. Um, but I think that is going to have to be it for now. If you like the video, want to see more, or have questions, like I said earlier, check out my discord it's going to be uh in the description um and if you want to see more obviously subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video